on to life journey. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you glory to God you have subscribed to my video because I do a video almost every day just for you, just for you to know the goodness and mercy of God. My psalm of the day is to tell people, are you a God pleaser or a man pleaser? Are you a God pleaser or a man pleaser? The story is very interesting, my friend, how the blind man was blind. And how Jesus opened his eyes. Hey, glory to God. And they were trying to convince, glory to God, the blind man that Jesus was not the person that healed him. Hey, glory to God. It's amazing that how when you are saved, people say you're not saved. It's amazing how, glory to God, you have changed your life and people think you are crazy. Hey, glory to God, I'm dealing with a, a, a young lady, glory to God, an old lady, my friend. Hey, she got a doctor degree in political science and she think that I'm crazy. The reason why she think I'm crazy is because I go against, glory to God, masonry uh, teaching. I go against, glory to God, the secret society. I go against witches, my friend. And I go to God by me preaching hard on people. Hey, go to serving, hallelujah, masons. Yes, you are serving masonry. Masons are in the Bible, yes. They were builders. Hey, they were bricklayers. Hey, go to God, but they were not worshiping of Satan. Hey, go to God. So, are you a man pleaser or a God pleaser? And there are a lot of people, my friend, they are serving, hallelujah, people. Now, when I say serving people, I ain't talking about doing a good deed for people. Hey, go, I'm talking about you worshiping people. Hey, go to God. You, you praising people. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. We, we are not to praise people or, pe or people praising us, my friend. We ought to be men, hallelujah, that love God. Praise God. Don't let people pat you on your back or you become a, a people pleaser. Hey, glory to God. So the reason why I say that, are you a man pleaser or a God pleaser? I'm a God pleaser. Hey, glory. Why well, I say I'm a God pleaser? Because when the end of the day come and I stand before God, God will say, well done. Oh God. And if you have been pleasing men, God will say, you damn. Oh, glory to God. Well, I say, if you are a man pleaser, at the end of the day, God will say, depart from me, he worketh of iniquity. The Bible says, and I quote this scripture all the time in Luke, it says, Woe to you when men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophet. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, I say, hey, you can't keep on pleasing people. Hey, glory to God. Please, God, be a, be a God pleaser. Because at the end of the day, my friend, people, glory to God, the only thing people can do to you is shake your hand. People can't rescue you. The only person can rescue you from the, the dead, the, from hell is God. Hey, glory to God. The only person can put you in heaven. Hey, glory to God. It's not people, but God. And a lot of people, hey, glory to God, especially at funeral. Hey, let's talk about funeral, my friend. You, you've been living a raggedy life all your life. You are drunk. Hey, glory to God, you are a whore. Hey, glory to God, you all that. And you say you don't need God. And you die in your sin. And your pastor is preaching you to heaven, trying to please the family. Hey, glory to God, oh, Johnny is going to heaven. Johnny had glory. Johnny was a was a hustler. Johnny was a glory to God, a womanizer. Johnny was a beater of a beater of women. And now Johnny going to heaven? What kind of heaven is he talking about? Is the heaven of the Bible or the heaven of a fantasy? But are you a are you a man pleaser? Hey, glory to our oh, God pleaser. I'm a God pleaser. I'm a please God. I ain't gonna please no people. Because if you please people, my friend, you're gonna sugarcoat the word of God. You're going to say the wages of sin is everybody doing it. <laughs> you want to say the, the lack of money is the root of all evil. You want to say God is the God is only in your mind and devil in your mind. They know, they know devil. They know, they know, they know Satan. It's all in your mind. My friend, the devil is a liar. The wages of sin is death. Well, I say the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. And the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So if you are watching the video, my friend, don't expect me to sugarcoat the word of God for you. I'm going to tell you, glory to God. My mother, hey, when I was in, in Jamaica, hey, glory to well, my grandmother, because yeah, I wasn't raised by my mother. She just gave us, oh, glory to God, something that was nasty. Hey, glory to God, every Saturday we get something nasty, my friend, but it cleans us out, my friend. We didn't like it. So don't expect me to sugarcoat the word of God. 
Don't, don't expect me to tickle your fancy. Don't expect me, glory to God, to speak contrary to what God say. Ahab, he got 400 prophets to lie to him. Hey, glory to God. And Micaiah, he slapped me and said that he don't speak truth to me. Hey, go to God. What I'm saying to you, my friend, I'm not going to please nobody but God. If Paul say, if I please men, I'm not a servant of God. Hey, glory to God. Wake up, church, and stop pleasing people. Please God. Because when you please people, my friend, you're going to sugarcoat the word of God. You're going to lie to people. My friend, you're going to trick people. Hey, glory to God. You're going to brainwash people. You're going to spiritwash people. But when you please God, my friend, you become happy. You become a happy camper. <laughs> well, you're happy camper because you're doing what God say. I'm happy. I'm living a happy life, my friend. I'm happy not because things happening to me that's happy. I'm happy because I'm saved. I'm happy because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, my friend. We got to wake up and realize, my friend, are you a man pleaser or are you a God pleaser? You better please God because God is the only one that can say, well done. Hey, glory to God. What say? God is the only one that can say, enter into the joy of the Lord. You've been pleasing people all your life, and you expect God to say, well done to you? The Bible say, listen, listen, the Bible say, glory to God, on that great day, hallelujah, Matthew, hallelujah, the seventh chapter, verse 21 and 23, it say, on that great day, many shall say, Lord, Lord, we prophesy your name. We've done, every, we've done wonderful works. But God said, never was my will. Depart from me, he workers of iniquity. I don't understand, my friend. Why do all his works ain't not in his will? Hey, well, I say, why do all his works? Hallelujah. That's why, hallelujah. I'm going to say it. That's why the secret society, the Mason, they do all these good works, but they worship in Lucifer. You do all this good work, my friend, and you and you and you're drinking blood, you're doing orgies, and you're getting drunk. And you expect your goodness, a good work. You, you listen. The Bible says you'll be judged according to your works. And if you ain't saved, you can't get saved by your works. Now, hey, go to God. You, you, the, the salvation is a gift. Hey, go to God. You receive a gift because you believe in Jesus Christ. You don't work for salvation. But when you get saved, you have to do good works because you're gonna be judged according to your works. He go to God. So if you are, if you are watching the video, my friend, stop pleasing people and please God. Because, my friend, you can't please people. People are like the weather. Hey, go to God. One day they're mad at you. Other day they're good at you. Hey, the Bible said God never changed. He the same today and yesterday and forever. So be even to please God and stop pleasing people. Hey, go to God. If you, be, if you please people, if you attach the people, my friend, you can't say what God say. You gonna sugarcoat what God say. Hey, go to as I mentioned earlier, my friend, you gonna say the wages of the wages of sin. Everybody doing it. You say the lack of the lack of the lack of money is the root of all evil. <laughs> Why? Because you don't want hurt people's feelings. So the blind man, my friend, his parent say this is our son, but high receiver sight we know not. Why? Because he, they were people pleasers. Because they want to they be put out of synagogue. Why? They want to be put out of church because they say Jesus heals him. Oh, my friend, we ought to wake up, hallelujah, and serve Jesus and worship Jesus and stop worshiping your pastor. Your pastor is not God. Hallelujah. I remember when I was young, my friend, my, I just got married. Hallelujah. I was at this car wash all Saturday, all day long while my wife at home. Hey, glory to God. I'm pleasing the pastor. Hey, glory to God. Rather than pleasing God. This is the order it goes. God, the family, and the church. That's the order it goes. And if you're a wife, my friend, hey, glory to God, is God, family, and the church. If your husband is God, family, and the church, the church is last, my friend. Huh? But you want to please the pastor. Hey, glory to God. You want to leave your wife, your husband at home and please the pastor. You out of order. Why? Because you're you're a people pleaser rather than a God pleaser. Your pastor can't can't put you in heaven. Your pastor got to stand before God too. So why please him more than you please God and take care of your husband or take care of your spouse? 
Y'all, y'all, y'all husband and wives are so bad. Y'all so much in the church while your children are out in the street. Oh, glory to God. Your, your daughter's a prostitute. Your son is a pimp. Your son sells drugs. And you, you so, you so, you so glorify. You shout the house down while your children act like hell. Raise us in the street. The Bible says, if a man don't take care of his family or take care of the church, uh, his family, how can he take care of the house of God? Men please us and not God's please us. We backwards, my friend. What I say? We are backwards when it comes to serving God. We ought to be pleasing God, pleasing the maker of the universe. People can't, don't have no heaven and hell to put you. So why, why please people? Amen. Are you a people pleaser? So the blind man parents say, this is our son. But how we see this sight? I don't understand. You, you are old and you lying. You, you are old and you lying. Come on now. The Bible says all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. And you are lying. That is your son by high receiver sight. Your, your son told you who, who healed him. You are lying to the Pharisees saying that this is our son by high receiver sight. We know that liar. You're too old to be lying. Why well, say you are too old to be telling lies? Tell the truth, mother. Why well, say tell the truth? Amen. Tell the truth. And you're not telling the truth. You know your, your son was healed from blindness and Jesus healed him. But Jesus Christ say something that we should listen to, my friend. They say, glory to God, they can see, but a sin remain in them. Hallelujah. And though that say we, we can't see, we can see because they believe in Jesus Christ. So are you a man pleaser or are you a God pleaser? I'm a God pleaser. I want to please God until I die. When you please man, you sugarcoat the word of God. That's why a lot of people on, on YouTube, they glory to God, they, everybody agree that Trump gonna have a second term. You, are, you wanna get subscribers and clicks because you gonna lie. Please God. You ain't gonna fall in the category of telling a lie or prophesying, prophet lying rather than prophesying. Are you a God pleaser or are you a man pleaser?